guys in this video I'm going over the wicked whims mod and how to install it during an update how to install it if you're brand new and how to install it for the EA app um, a lot of a lot of Windows users have converted over to the EA app um, Mac users I believe is still using origin um, it's literally the same way but I'm going to show you guys how to get into that okay I hope you guys enjoy the video I always provide timestamps in my videos especially if the, they're long um, it'll be provided in the description and I'll also have it at the bottom of the screen um, for you guys. I try to do as many updated Wicked Whims videos as I can for the simple fact that it is for most people a complicated mod to install, especially if you're a beginner. Um, and also because things change. For example, like we're, we're now using the EA app, you know what I'm saying? So I try to have as many possible up-to-date videos on my channel, no matter how many I have to make for a particular mod. Also, if you have any recommendations, please leave, leave it in the comment section. As I said before, if you're in a time crunch, please just go to the description, click on the timestamp. It will take you exactly where you want to be. So you don't have to hear me ramble. For the people who do stay, thank you. I appreciate it. If you're a reoccurring viewer, I really do appreciate that. Um, if you haven't subbed to the channel, go ahead and do that as well. All right. I also want to recommend my simplicitysim.com website. On there, you will have an ebook. And on there, I am going to add more ebooks for particular mods. I'm I'm going to add courses as well to help you guys with the mod installation so you can get some more one-on-one -on -one help and you don't have to feel completely lost or like you can't play the mods that you want because you don't have anyone to help you and I don't want you guys to feel like that like I it literally changed my life when I started installing mods and I enjoyed it a lot so I know if you guys feel the way I do you're gonna need someone to help you and that's why I have the website in the first place so check out simplicitysim.com it's also in the description as well and you can go ahead and get that ebook for yourself it will help you during the process of installation so you don't have to feel like you're doing something wrong it goes over the literally common questions that are continuously asked all right so let's get right into it the first thing that I want to show you guys how to do especially if you're new or you just you know started installing mods there is the EA app for Windows users that is being used. You are going to click on the EA app. If you have not already signed up and things like that, you're going to have to sign up or sign in. I don't think you really have to sign up because EA is the same as Origin. So in that case, what that means is you probably already have an account made. So the account that you use for Origin will be the same for EA app okay when you're in the app there's going to be three lines in the top left corner okay you are going to click those lines when you do that go to settings and then go to application when you see the application settings go ahead and take off automatic updates okay i took a took off open the ea app on startup because i'm just one of those people who don't like stuff popping up when i'm just like getting into my computer so that's just a preference you don't have to turn that off if you don't want to how do you know if you turn it off? It will be gray and black, kind of like this one. Okay, so it won't be blue. It will be like black. And that's how you turn it off, okay? Once you're done with that, you will be able to access your Sims 4. I think if you're new to EA app, it will ask you to download it again or something like that. Um, and then you'll be able to play the game. If you click manage, it's going to show you your add-ons, your properties, your repair, and if you want to uninstall, okay? So there you go. Now that we can kind of get the gist of how the EA app works, let's get into installing the Wicked Whims mod. So um, one common thing that I want to say, which I keep forgetting in all my Wicked Whims videos, is that you are going to have to install animations. I get that question a lot. Some people are like, the game's not working. I don't know what to do. You're going to need animations. Just off the bat, you're going to need animations, okay? You do not want to install this mod and not install animations. If you don't know what those are, you can definitely um, go to the description. I have the animations link inside and you can click that and it will let you be able to install um, your animations and you know, I have a tutorial on animation so you'll be able to know how to install and what to do Okay, okay so again just a heads up make sure you go to the description and click on the Tutorial for animations that will show you how to install the animations and make sure that you have those along with the wicked whims mod I also got the question. Um, can I install animations before? The, I install the wicked whims mod. Yes, you can but if you want to just install the mod first, you probably should just do that. It's no right or wrong, though. All right. So when you go to the Wicked Whims website, I cannot have this link in the description, guys. So if you're like, where's the link? 
It's not in the description. You got to go to Google and you have to put in wickedwhimsmod.com. Sorry. Okay. Um, also, there is going to be content on here that is not for people who are younger than 18, pretty much. You need to be 18 and up installing this mod. So uh, you want to be aware of that and definitely probably not install this mod around people who would be uncomfortable. Okay. All right. So let's press enter. So once you're inside, you're going to click on download. All right. I know it's confusing, but I ha I get the question too as well. Where do I go for animations? When you need animations, you click on animations installation. Okay. It is going to show you animations. Um, and there's a lot of troubleshooting in this section that you can do. So it's going to show common mistakes people go through visual issues, critical issues, mods, reliability, and reporting issues. So if you feel like I'm not getting to you fast enough, or you feel like you're still lost, you can go to these tabs to get more help. So once you click download, it's going to bring you to this page right here. Mind you, it's March 7th, 2023. So one thing I always tell people to pay attention to is the last time it was updated. It's going to be right under Wicked Whims. Um, and it's going to say whatever the date it last was updated on. This is important because if you go through issues in your mod, like the next month or whatever, and you're like, I don't know what's wrong with my mod. It could be because you're running an old mod. So you have to delete the mod and update your mod. And here's how you do that. So that's why I said, guys, in this video, I'm going over what to do with an update, what to do if you're brand new and what to do if you don't know how to operate with the EA app. So what you would do is you're going to go over to file explorer. If you have Mac, you're going to go to finder. And then you're going to go ahead and select the documents folder. Then you're going to go inside of the EA folder, electronic arts. It's right in the documents folder. I do get um, the question. So I'm going to go back. I can't find my documents folder. If you are, if you have window, go to quick access and type in documents. It should direct you to the folder, or you could go to where your start menu is and type in documents there. And then it should bring you to that folder. Okay. So just a FYI. So you click file explorer finder, and then you click documents. Then you click on electronic arts and then you click on sins four. Once you do that, <laughs> you want to find the wicked whims mod for those people who have not installed this mod before. This would not apply to you. Okay. This won't apply to you because you've never installed the mod. So it's not going to be in here. But for the people who have installed it, you are going to click on your mods folder and you're going to look for your Wicked Whims mod. OK, so here it is. That's the Wicked Whims mod. We are going to delete that because it's an old version. How do I know that? It says that the last time I installed this mod was January 30th, 2023. So it's not up to date. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and right click and we're going to delete. If you have Mac, it's going to say trash. You're going to do that. Okay. Don't freak out. It's okay. It's okay. We're going to update the mod. So to update a mod, you would have already had your updates turned off in the EA app or origin, whatever you're using. Okay. So if the updates are already off, when you log into origin or EA app, it's going to say, Hey, origin's ready to update. Sims 4 is ready to update. So what you would do is you would take out your whole entire mods folder, not just the wicked whims folder, and you'll update your app. And then you'll start the game and then you'll put your mods folder back in once you leave the game. And then you would take your Wicked Whims folder out like I just did. You would click on itich.io. Okay. And then you will be brought to this page. I want you to scroll all the way to the bottom, all the way. Once you get to the bottom, you'll see a, a tab that says download. Okay. And a purple button. Click on download. Once you start downloading, it is going to download at the bottom of your screen, just as you did before when you installed Wicked Whims. If you're brand new, you will just see it at the bottom of your screen and you don't have to worry about anything in your mods folder because you're new. All right. You're going to right click it and you're going to click show and folder, or you can go to the bottom of the screen, click file explorer or finder, and you will select downloads. Once you get here, guys, please pay attention. And the reason I'm saying this right now is because so many people <laughs> do not realize that this is the most important part. And if you mess this up, it is not going to, your game's not going to work. I'm just going to be real. Your game's not going to work. Take the time to please listen to how I'm telling you to install this so you do not make any mistakes. It's going to be very relevant for your situation. When you click on this mod, 
If you have Mac, double click it, a blue folder will open. If you have Windows, right click and click extract. Now, some people have told me that it is not a zip file, it's just a folder once they downloaded it. Do not freak out. I'm gonna show you what folder that is. So we're gonna right click and we're gonna select extract all. Then you click extract and you see this that just popped up? This is the main folder for this mod. So when we open that zip file, it opened this folder. I'm going to show you what it looks like. This, if you're on Mac, it's gonna be blue. This folder, when you double click it, this is what's inside. This folder does not go into your Wicked Whims mod. If you are confused by what I just said, you do not drag this whole entire folder and put it in your mods folder. Do not do that. Go into your Wicked Whims mod folder, and this folder right here is the folder you put in your mods folder. If that does not work for you, you come inside of this folder and you copy these turbo driver pages and directly place them in your mods folder. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we are gonna go to File Explorer, Downloads, select that folder and click on the Wicked Whims mod. It's highlight highlighted, that is the folder that goes inside. We're gonna go to the bottom, right click, and we're gonna select File Explorer again. We're gonna go to Documents, Electronic Arts, Sims 4, Mods. Now, I always say before we get to this point to delete your local thumb cache, it's gonna be somewhere on this Sims 4 folder. If you can't find it, don't freak out. It just means that you already probably started up the game. Do not install mods when your game is on. If you are already installing a mod and your game is on, go back to Sims 4, quit the game, get out of Sims 4 Origin or EA app, and then finish this procedure, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and select mods, and then we are going to move the folder, move that folder, okay? And we are going to place the mod that I told you guys was inside of the main folder, and we're gonna drag that individual folder into the mods folder, okay? So when you check the folder, after you put it in your mods folder, this is all you should see. If you see, please remove old Wicked Whims. <laughs> Installation instruction video. Wicked Whims info and license. You did not do it correctly. You just dragged the whole folder in and now your game's not gonna work. Okay, that's the first important thing. All right, when I said, um, if you know dragging this individual folder did not work, I sometimes tell people to copy this and then put that in your mods folder, okay? So hopefully you guys understand that process and how important it is. The second important process is that you need animations. I do get the question, do I need to update my animations? No, you don't. You see right here, I have animations for Wicked Whims from back in January 21, 2023, when I installed these animations. Well, actually it was September 7, 2022. Um, and my animations still work, okay? If yours are not working, I just tell you guys to do what you just did when you installed the mod. You just click on the animations tab. If you do Lover's Lab, you have to make an account with them. So if you're like, I don't see the download button, you got to make an account with them in order to use the animations, okay? Um, and don't worry, it's just going to ask for your email and your name. It's nothing you have to pay for or anything of that nature. So with that being said, that just means that your animations do not always have to be updated. Most of the time I go in my game and as long as my Wicked Whims bot is updated, my animations still work. Sometimes I go in and they don't work. <laughs> so when I have them do certain things, they're like syncing or merging into each other and all this crazy stuff is happening. If that's happening for you nine times out of 10, A, your animations need to be updated or B, you have a mod <laughs> that is broken and it is messing up your game. Do not freak out. Sometimes it loads the game really slow and you can't start it. Or um, you go into the game and you have ball headed people and <laughs> legs that look weird. That just means you have a broken mod. And so now your next question is, well, what do I do if I have a broken mod? You look up Better Exceptions Mod. You can look it up on my YouTube channel. I have a tutorial on how to install that mod. And you also look it up on Google and it will pop up and install that mod, please, because that mod is going to tell you 
what is broken in your game so you can then remove it until the creator updates it and then you can put it back when you're ready, okay? So now that we got that out the way, darlings, let's go ahead and go into the game. This is the fun part because we get to make sure everything is where it's supposed to be and everything works. So you're probably asking, well, Kim, how do I get into the game? I have the EA app. I don't have Origin. It's going to be the same way if you're in Origin, guys, but I'm going to show you. Also, make sure you go into your Sims 4 settings if you're brand new. This is another thing that you need to know. You got to go into the Sims 4 game options and get your settings in order. When you do that, you need to exit back out of the game, whether you're in Origin or EA app, and then start the game over again then your mods will work. If you just set your settings up and then go in the game, it may not work because you didn't restart the game. So keep that in mind as well. So let's go ahead and click play. Hey guys, so once you have pressed play, the game will load up. Click on options. It's at the bottom. Click game options. And then you will see an other tab, second to the bottom as well. Click on that other tab. And here you will see enable custom content and mods. Please put a green check by that. You do that by clicking it. And then you do the same for script mods allowed. It is just as important to check this one as the first one because you need your script mods to work too. So we're going to press the green check. When you do that, click apply changes. If you're brand new, please exit the game after this. That means you come over here, you click exit game. Okay, and then start your game back up again. Your mods will then work, okay? If you are just doing this after an update because you just updated your mods, you can just go into the game and get to the play. So let's get to the play, shall we? I need to load a game where there's two, like more than one person. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna do this family. So once you're in the game to check and make sure that you've installed it properly, you should get a notification from Wicked Wins, okay? It's gonna tell you what version you're running. This was the one we saw on the website. So that means you're on a good start. If it says that you're running an old version, that means that you possibly left the old Wicked Whims folder in when you were doing the update, or um, you are still running the old Wicked Whims and you just didn't install the mod. Like maybe you forgot to put it in or something like that, okay? All right, so to check to see if it works, you can either click on people and you will see more choices and then you will see Wicked. These settings in Wicked are very important. The reason why they're important, it's because it's going to determine how your Sims interact with each other. So if you have certain settings into place already, or you're brand new and you change some settings back here, just keep that in mind. It, sometimes it's not that you installed the mod incorrectly. It just means that you maybe selected settings or the settings already came like that where you can't interact with certain sims i've had that happen with certain animations i'm like oh they're not doing this well it's not that you didn't install the mod correctly it just means you have to change some settings so keep that in mind as well all right and then another thing you can do to check and see if it's working is you can just test out your anim animations with people i typically do this on the bed so we're going to select wicked and then you would click this option of course and then you would select the contents you want and it will play out that animation for you all right, guys, so that is how you play the game. That is how you ensure you installed it correctly. If you guys still have questions or you're not sure what to do and you're going through issues, please comment what that is below. If this video was helpful, like the video. And if you're new, subscribe. I love, love, love doing tutorials on how to install mods. And if you have any suggestions or you have a mod that you're struggling with and you want me to record for you, please put it in the comment section below and I will get that going for you as well, okay? Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope that this was helpful with the people who don't know what to do with updates, with the people who are brand new to installing Wicked Whims, and I hope that it was helpful just in general and that you get to enjoy how amazing this mod is. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are the best, and I appreciate all of you. Have a wonderful rest of the day.